everyone welcome back to counter side so today we have an update for january 26 so again this update is dropping from 7 to 10 in the morning gmt plus 7 so let's take a look at the details of this update so compensation will be 400 quartz 1000 eternium updates new content operation New event episode, bottom the shade, events, emissions, and shop unlock. Then we have event, uh, year, new year, uh, good luck, pouch event, missions, and shop unlock. So this coincides with the incoming um, lunar new year that we're going to be having in February 1. Sh uh, new ship, lucky dragon released, so can be obtained from lunar new year event. Attendance, uh, good luck, punch in as well from January 26 to this is, I think, going to be February 9. Skin, Lunar New Year, skin released, Shaolin and Gaon. The one that I'm looking forward uh, for this one is going to be Shaolin. Definitely, I already have a skin for Gaon, so look for that skin for Xiaolin. So for though but for those of you who want Gayun, be my guest guys. Um I think her skin is also fantastic. Um next is skin permanent skins released then Harchifuyu, Arius and Fion Lowell are going to be permanently um and sorry their skins are going to be permanently available in the shop. I don't know what the, these skins are but there are permanent skins. Next is going to be background lunar new year background snowy guardian in red Boudoir released background permanent background hot spring released as well voice language Japanese voice is here only for some characters and skins so this will be limited as well world map shadow palace number five unlocked so we're gonna be getting number five for shadow palace so this is going to be one of the things that we're going to we are looking forward to again um, Operation New Challenge Chloe's Credit Search will be back. New recruitment, normal recruitment, Rita Arsenico probability up. So this one um, is new. So Rita is going to be dropping. Let's try to take a look at her skills in a while after this update. 13 is recruit Veronica, Mone, like chorus, Ifrit possibility up. There's another banner besides Rita. <coughs> Operator Anastasia and Olive Park probability as well. Danger Close new season starts and shop added loyal season gear gone that shop 50% off the loyal season. And we have other things as well. Shop added new New Year skin package, New Year special package, New Year package step one, two, and three. Uh, shop added Eternium special package and life and contract package. And the last one is shop added small. Um, times 1.5 admin coin package and medium package for admin coin as well. So those are the details of the update coming tomorrow. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, Rita SSR. So she's a supporter and her rating is SS both for PvE and PvP. So I feel that she's a must have for all of us. So let's take a look at her abilities first. Basic attack. Um, before that, we're going to take a look at... So counter deployment cost is 3. And she is an air unit, guys. So attack type is all. Specialty is going to be debuffer, dispeller, executor, heal back, and true damage. So basic attack sh um, shapes um, Emerta into a sword and throws it in the front. Inflicting AoE damage. So at level 5, this is going to be a plus 20%. Omerta passive skill delivers an enhanced basic attack after the special and ultimate skills inflicting 50% or more AoE damage on and around the target. The affected enemies lose 15% of attack for 5 seconds and this value is doubled for mech. So again, another angry woman. <laughs> She's angry at mechs again. So at level 2 up to four so it's going to be anti mech damage a total of 40 percent i'm not sure i'm gonna bring mechs anymore at level five additional mech damage resistance plus 30 percent outside of the gauntlet enhanced attack inflicts true damage stuns mechs 
for two seconds. Definitely, I'm not gonna bring mechs anymore. Metal disintegration special skill, two valid hits for this one. And cooldown is 20 seconds. Shapes Omerta into an axe, throws it at the front, inflicting AoE damage. And on and around the target, the affected enemies lose 20% of incoming healing for 8 seconds, and the value is doubled for mechs. Again, another reason why I'm not gonna bring mechs anymore. And the cooldown is a total of minus 4 seconds at level 4. And at level 5, instantly finishes one mech with 20% or lower HP within range. Bosses excluded. So again, I won't bring any mechs. Dark Matter, Angry Omerta inflicts AoE damage on and around the target. Cancels all non-permanent buff. Cast on affected mechs and negates new buffs on them for 45 seconds. So at level 2 to 4, that's going to be a plus 25% damage. And at level 5, affected enemies' attack speed is at minus 25% for 12 seconds. Two times on mech. Again, another reason not to bring mech teams at this point. Um, gonna be bringing mech teams when she's banned, definitely. But when she's around, definitely not. So if she's a flying supporter, she's gonna be good in dive 40-50. And uh, also in Shadow Palace 4. Okay, so when it is called a mech floor. So more or less, again, she is going to be good all around. The only one that uh, it's, it, she's going to be low is going to be in danger close. But the rest is going to be SS across the board. Majority of it and a bunch of A's. Story mode, raids, and guild co-op. So pros and cons, massive damage as a supporter. I agree on this one. One of the best employees to be used in mech heavy PvE stages. Yes, this will really... Be a big help one of few counters to evolve one at this point um again the the what they call the machine collector is actually doing it a good job already once you put her out definitely mech teams are going to cry a lot after she comes out and a flying employee so so far safer in the air and doesn't get killed as often so not much of a con for Rita, pretty meh, and raids. While her damage is great, there are better 3 cost damage dealers also bring something more. So more or less, um, I look at her kit as uh, you know having a lot of upside, not, uh, no, not so much of a downside. So for those of you who want to summon for her, please do. If you have the extra um, currency for you, um, uh, recruit me contracts to someone for her, please do. Because again, she's going to be a badass, guys. And she's going to be used in a lot of content in counter side. So definitely tomorrow I'm going to cry because I don't have enough currency. But definitely I'll try to summon for her and probably get some more. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for staying this far. So... Hopefully you could um, help me by subscribing to my channel and also guys take care stay safe. This is the warden and I'm out of here